In Myanmar, Tsidi volunteers have been caring for a woman with a brain tumor. She recently passed away, and Tsidi volunteers were by her side until her last breath. She can finally talk about her torment with Tsidi volunteers. While we were at Dauthan Darwin's home, we met her mother and we gave the elderly mother some cookies to soothe her mind and to make her happy. We also praised her for her efforts for this family because she must do odd jobs and wash clothes to support the family. The burden on her shoulders was her 37-year-old daughter, Dao Tan Da Win, who had been bedridden for two years. For a while, their family lived quite well, but their lives became difficult after she fell ill. If Zhiji didn't help them, would be difficult for them to survive because they are the most impoverished family in the village. <laughs> Tima doctors suggested that Dao Tan Dao Win be sent to the hospital, so she was taken to Bago. And because she developed fever, she was sent to a major hospital in Yangon. <laughs> After hearing her condition, we discussed with the hospital if we should bring her home. But because she had many tubes in her body, the hospital forbid her from going home. Water was accumulating in her lungs, so it wasn't easy to remove the tubes from her. Dao Tang Dawin suffered from a brain tumor, and many of her organs were also infected by viruses. After being hospitalized for 14 days, she still passed away leaving her two young daughters behind. However, Tsiji volunteers will continue to assist this family.